Alright guys, just a quick video, um, and I was talking about, uh, you know, if you guys are a bit sadistic, you can watch um, 5 Minute Traders Getting Slaughtered, yeah, and this is a nice capture pain and relief um, type trade, you can see in 5 minutes, you can see basically it's it's drawn traders into the, to the, to the short side, right, so immediately it would have either taken out all the stops below, it looks like, and then it's basically, you know, shot up to the to the higher side price to pull back a little bit and then drawn in more traders so a lot of traders will be up here at the moment looking at um you know getting in long uh and then all of a sudden boom look at that scary candle a lot of stops would have probably been below there everyone's looking to trade the fomc but dovishness whatever it is and then you know they've moved and removed their stop loss if prices come up to here, yeah, if prices come up to here, what do you think the first thing they're going to try and do? Get out for break even. So um, this is the capture pay phase. This is the pain phase. You're seeing it in real time. And this happens on all time frames, by the way. But, um, you know, this is, you know, this is just, this is what I, I, I just can't trade the news or anything like that. You know, I just wait for it to come out. Look at the long term. Um, this All this stuff is less likely to happen to you on higher time frame charts um, so uh, yeah these guys you know moving removing their stop losses possibly adding into losing positions and now all of a sudden the pain the pain the pain they're seeing their uh, I guess their uh, their account go from risking one percent to you know now they're down maybe five ten fifteen percent whatever it is over leveraged etc so a lot of pain going on right now and uh, this this turns out to be on a four hour, right? This turns out to be what? Nice trapping candle. Look at that outside candle. This is why these candles. I love trading these candles. You can take advantage of um, of uh, I guess um, uh, uh, pain in real time. Yeah. So if depending on how this closes, yeah, I might get short if the risk reward is nice so I say if this starts to come down too far then i'm not going to get in if simply because the risk reward might not be worth it that's a 1.48 to 1. i'm not going to jump in now i just have to have some patience and what i'll do is even if prices start to go you know lower and lower and lower let's say for example here yeah i'll wait for price to come back up to here if they do because i know that's a cpr zone i know for a fact that traders are caught in this position here you know they've got in long now they're getting you know the pain phase so i'll wait for a bit of a pullback yeah before getting in long it might be you know produce like some sort of double top and i'll be getting in again right at this zone decent zone it's only touched you know once <clears throat> yeah it's a fresh zone of supply um so if it does come back up to here or anywhere near here up to this supply zone then I'll be getting in, but if this starts to run away, don't panic, don't worry. It's not, you know, our trade or anything like that. It is what it is. Um, we we're talking about risk rewards. This doesn't represent a good risk reward at the moment. Just be patient. You'll get, you'll get the trades. You know, we'll go down to a lower time frame and let's see if it can, if it, if it closes like this or down here, then fine. But like I said, we're not trying to jump in at the moment. We'll just wait for a bit of a pullback if it can pull back anywhere around this level and I know that there's going to be traders caught in this because you know it on the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour, etc. So um, actually maybe not the one hour because one hour traders wouldn't, yeah, it would have been closing now, but it would have drawn in definitely, you know, the uh, 30 minute traders and also be careful not to get drawn in yourself to the downside because it could easily clip and, and, and capture you if you know what I mean. Um, so don't jump in, just... Uh, just observe what's happening in real time. Yeah, don't have any emotion. Chill, relax, and uh, yeah, just watch the fireworks. And uh, let's now take advantage of this situation if prices come back up to here. Yeah, all right. Take care.